Hello everyone, it is Suki, and we are playing Chris Tales, the demo. So, I actually saw this game uh, during the PC gaming show uh, for 2020 that happened uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a few weeks ago at this point. Uh, anyways, this was basically one of pretty much the game that interested me the most uh, throughout that entire show. And it just so happens that there's a demo for it. Uh, on Steam, so I figured, hey, why not? I'll try it. This game doesn't come out until I believe like November, like mid November. So, right around the time that Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed, which is nice, but um, I don't know, it, it looks great. Like, it has a very unique style, it's also very vibrant, which um, I could use a little bit of that in my life right now, honestly. So, we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna see if it's uh, any good. So, um, I'm gonna try and play with. with my controller first. I don't know if there's actually has controller support yet. It seems to be working all right so far, but uh, if it doesn't work out, we have to use the keyboard. It's it's fine. Also, I apologize ahead of time if you hear more sniffling and stuff because summer allergies, man. They're kicking in full gear for me right now. Okay, this game actually has voice acting. I did not know that. Time to use your new skills. Sure, man. I love this. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack, and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Huh. So, it's turn-based, but it also encourages you to um, also interact beyond just selecting options from a, a menu, which, uh, alright. Alright, where's the timing? Oh, there we go. Alright. I was waiting too long. Wait for your opponent's attack and press the A button right when they hit you to block. He just said that. Okay, the, the timing is a little wonky. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just have to play with it a bit more. Oh man, that EXP though. Who are you supposed to be? Who are you supposed to be? Christopher? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You gotta fight. Did, did you just come to a fight with nothing but a shield? show him. What's this? Ooh. On guard item pass. Alright, makes sense. Alright, man. Smash him with your shield. Oh. Bad. I'm Christopher, by the way. Uh, the fight's not over, Christopher. You know, follow your own advice. This EXP is is killing. We're killing it, guys. Holy crap. There. It's too less of them. I've been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. I don't know what you're talking about. It looks like they kind of already reached exactly town. Exactly how do you plan to do that? The town looks like it's burning. Your name is Volcano. You won't get past us. Until I stop murdering them, I know, I know. I just want to play. Not my fault, they're all so squishy. This is so campy, but it kind of works with <laughs> this sort of art style. Nice it's like one of those like old school cartoons. I don't know, I, can, can you say old school cartoons anymore? Oh man, that damage though. It, 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 
it, I guess I should say it's it's one of those cartoons that I would have watched as a kid. Not even a scratch. I don't know, dude. You're the one who like uses shields. You should know about this. We can't take much more of this. Crispell, it is time. Use the crystals. The crystals. Now, this being a demo, there wasn't actually anything for me to change the audio. Uh, if there was, I would prefer to have the voices up a little bit higher, but, uh, oh well. This game looks gorgeous. I love the art style of this game. Mother Superior. I better not keep her waiting. How to move? Whoa. <laughs> this game looks I should talk to Mother Superior so surreal when you're moving but it's it's gorgeous Crisbell finally did you prune the roses yet I'm sorry mother superior it's just my rose he the frog it took it enough enough i've seen that look before find that rose then hurry back there's work to do and no time to waste go on yes mother superior Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Man, you care that much about a single rose? I miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. Okay, Olivia. I totally know who you are. No, I'm pretty sure that frog went this way, but like... Press Y to check out your current objective! I have to get my rose back. What a lovely day for a walk in the woods. Hint, hint, I have to go to the woods, probably. I don't think butterflies hang that low. What's the hurry? What's up, Marco? Hey, Marco? Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A uh, top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate? There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm, Marco. Um, yeah, you know. I still have to find. When a yellow frog in the top hat comes along, it steals a rose from your garden. You know, be sure to check the mayor's house first. I still. Well, look. If I knew where the mayor's house was, I would head right there. I still have. Okay. Down, maybe. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. Nice popsicle, man. Ooh, here we go. Cathedral Square North, Town Exit South, uh, Mayor's Estate is East. Right, let's talk to you guys first. Can I talk to you? Why would someone do this? Apothecary June. Why would someone do this? What did they do? That Marco is never home. He's like 20 he steps away from you. One day, he should help me take care of it. Well, he's just lounging around in the square. 
think about the future. It's not just the farms that will be renovated. Nice armor, Mayor. Holy crap. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town. Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you? Where's your proof? Hmm. Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert. Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crisbell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crisbell. Too many in town have strayed from her graves. Oh, thank you. I should go. <laughs> Alright, sure. Hey, look! It's a yellow frog with the top hat with a rose. Oh, wait. Is that the northern fields? Should I leave town, I'm assuming? Nope. Well, you know, you would suspect northern fields means to go north, so... Road to the farmlands. Main square. Cathedral. Well, let's try this. Chris. Between the crops, the monsters, the weather, it never ends. I just saw your dad with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat, top hat. He took my rose. <laughs> a frog in a top hat. Only you, Chris Bell. Like how everyone just believes this little girl. It's like, yeah, man, frog, top hat, rose, totally. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral's as good a place as any to try. Finally going to this dang cathedral. Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone. It looks so pretty. I'm guessing that's water. Rose was added to your bag. Crystals of time, Chris Bell. Where? I mean, who? How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog, at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I don't know, man. He kidnapped your rose. I 
suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I... I can't... I don't want this. Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse. You know... I guess that is a way of looking at it, huh? If you could just look into the future like that, that'd be kind of weird. And, you know, some people wouldn't want that. They'd like to have a little bit of surprise in their life. Why is this even happening? You're upset. Perfectly understandable. But, I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only, but sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Okie dokie, Mr. Froggy. Oh man, you look really pretty. Are you still around? Oh, I can't, I can't move far enough down the screen to see if she's still alive. Oh, what a strapping, strapping young man you've become. This is actually pretty nice. It's actually kind of cool. You can see the the statue is more like dilapidated and uh, the railings over there are kind of broken over there in the future section. Again, I can't move too far. Oh, oh, they're all grown up. Oh, she's a, she's a little. This is actually really cool. Alright, uh, I totally forgot where we're going. Just a I'm guessing we're exiting town. Oh, overworld. Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Oh yes, let the talking frog do the talking. So are you? What the hell? Manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why, not even I've been able to. Yet it has happened. No. No, no. No, there's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time mage. As am I. Time mage! Your have led to my youthful appearance. Yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. A seed was added to your bag. You can check your items by pressing the um options button. They got rid of the start buttons. Because, uh, I don't know, start didn't make any sense, I guess. I don't know. Look, it produced weird apple thingies. What do you see in the future? Weird apple thingies. It's growing from the seed I planted. I didn't see a tree, but I did see an apple. Exactly. A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So, if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see these future possibilities. 
so choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Oh, okay. Where's that tree? Oh, that is not what I was expecting. Interesting. Can I go anywhere else? Nope. Alright, well, uh, sh back to wherever we're, we're at. Is it an orphanage? I don't know. No, how could this happen? Matthias, what? What happened? I, do, I don't... Crisbell, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He's a talking frog who stole my rose. He was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Yes, Mother Superior. Now go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Okay. Matthias? Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Hmm? Uh, Crisbell, I'm sorry if I upset you by leaving. No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. Saw its future abandoned empty how could that happen i don't know but let's look around town perhaps your new powers can shed light on this i'm still not sure if there's a way to actually shift the perspectives so that you could favor something else other than the person on your screen it just does that on its own like i'm actually controlling it Okay. Wow, you accepted that real quick. Why would someone do this? Um, excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. Okay. West it is. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, I guess. Carpenter Joe. Problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside? From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. He, he looked charming back in the day. Why would someone do this? Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town. No, no, I can't. Someone tore the labels off of my mushrooms. That sounds bad. Bad? It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion, great on a salad. Digestion. 
I don't think I've ever heard anyone pronounce it like that. Also, you're an apothecary. You can't recognize the difference between your mushrooms by looking at them. What kind of apothecary are you? Is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. <sighs> My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though, I try to keep everything the way he left it. But... Only so many hours in oh, I get it. We're gonna look about at how it was in the past and relabel them for her. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they do. Let me try something. Uh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. Press X to prepare a time hop, and then press the left stick to make Matthias hop to the past. Ah, there we go, we figured out how to do it. Ah, uh, he's a tadpole? That is so weird, what the hell? Alright, so red is death and blue is fine. Well, this one has a skull on it. I am... That sticker! I saw it today! Some kids were playing with one! Oh yeah, I remember that. We were talking about that sticker. Let's go get it back, I guess. Chris, check out the sticker we found! It's a skull! You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Yeah, can you make that now, lady? Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. I am glad that um, there's voice acting for like all this stuff because uh, it saves my voice. Oh, wait, she said near the. It's probably this lady. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. Do you know if there's any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm. It was glow fruit. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. Is there a way to save? Looks like the playtime stat statistic doesn't work in the demo, unfortunately. Alright, well, let's head back to uh, get that glow fruit.
What's with that? It feels like the overworld music skips a couple beats, but I don't know. Maybe that's just how it sounds. There's the tree I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead, or rather, I will. I don't know if that's how, you know, time works. Whoa. What's up with, uh, Here Wilhelm over there? Now to bring it back to Chris hey, talk to him. Nope. You did it! It's not much, though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apothecary. Alright, let's head back. I don't... I... <laughs> That's gonna have some consequences, right? You can't just pluck things from the future, bring them to the present, and not have it affect things. That would cause an amazing amount of ripple effects. I have glow fruit. Will one be enough? That will do. Give me just a minute. Here you go. There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Oh, so now we have to decide, are we going to save the apothecary or the millers? Thank you. Well, I finally have the green leaf tonic. Yeah, now what? I thought you'd be happier. What is it, Chris Bell? You only have one dose. There's only enough to fix one house. What can I do? Ah, yes. Even with the crystals, there is only so much you can do to help. It appears you must make a decision. No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined. You are a time mage, Crispel. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. Well, I mean, practicality, I'd much rather have an apothecary than a miller, right? Hello, Crispel. should go no worries dear yeah. all right well can I talk to this apothecary as well Chris Bell what can I do for you dear uh well let's see it's your shop it has an ash blight infection ash blight why would you think that I overheard the carpenter talking he thinks a number of buildings could be affected how awful. I remember my father telling me stories about Ash Blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms. That it... Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic. But perhaps I can find another solution. Thank you again. You're welcome, G. Isabel, look, do you see how- I suppose. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. Then we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ash White to Nareem the last time! We've gotta go! Isabel, wait! Okay. To get to the oh crap, where are the farms? Alright, uh, to the east, I think? Hold on. I think it's to the east over here. Men. I can help. Just let me. Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. And pray that they're up to the task. He's right, Chris Bell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. 
Oh, I like how it just skips me over here. All right. Back again? What is it now, Time Mage? Goblins are attacking the farms. We've got to do something. Matias said you could help. Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent and my training, perhaps in a few years. Years? The goblins are attacking now. Don't worry, just go to the um present and then train and then come back or go to the past train come back to the present patience i don't know you're a time mage try to act like one hmm. there's always the sword ridiculous the sword is much too powerful for a novice the strain would be too much dude it's just no. a sword you asked for my help frog the sword is the answer if the girl is everything you believe she may well survive it doesn't matter. I'll do it. Very well. This should be interesting. Okay, am I going to the Temple of Time? I'm gonna pull out the Master Sword. Is this what's happening? Why is the audio only coming from my left side? Okay, we're back. <laughs> They're trying to reach the town. This is a real fight, Chris Bell. Time to use your new skills. With the sword enhancing your powers, you should now be able to send your enemies to either the future or the past. Give it a try. All right, how the hell do I do that? Invoke the future crystal. This makes them all old. To be. Hello, my name is. Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Invoke the past crystal. So it's still. Past is still to the left and future is still to the right. Yeah, turn him into a baby. Accidentally skipped his dialogue. It's alright, we already saw it before anyway. Ooh. How did I do that? Oh. Drop a little water to see. Sure. He's soaked. Uh, use electricity. of them. I've been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And ex hold your ground. Alright, we've already we've yeah. already <laughs> looked at this dialogue. And that This isn't working. I'll hit them harder. Wait, their shield is made of metal. Use your water skill and I'll send them into the future. Got it. Wait, the future? Right. Delay your actions for one term allows the next in timeline to act immunity. Alright, let's do that.
What's this? I feel stronger. <laughs> Big mistake! Careful. They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares? Is that how that works? I mean, I guess, I guess if you really think about it, that would work. What kind of skill? I don't have any skills. All right, well, that's fine. I did praise it before that you could, um, it, it uh, encourages more interactivity because you actually have to, like, dodge and or block and stuff, but, um, so far, in order to, like, do your follow-up attacks and all that, there's, there's nothing really stopping you from just spamming the button. Like, you don't actually have to time it properly, it seems. So, uh, that could use a little bit of refinement to maintain a sort of interesting mechanic, I suppose. Also, I'm not sure if I'm actually blocking any of these fire attacks or not. Let's try hitting with more water. I don't know what this will do. I see I can break my future crystal as well. Holy crap. Do we have any healing items? That'd be helpful. There we go. You'd figure us stepping into the future as well would make us stronger too, because they said they got stronger when they're in the future. It would make sense, right? And the, the sort of flip side to that is also you'd be weaker going back to the past because you're not as uh, skilled. And what I would do for like an electric spell or something. Oof. Just barely. Brings it down that way back. 50 mana. Alright. Also, I just realized Mateus is just cheerleading down there. Man, that really hurts. Maybe we're supposed to break the crystal. I'm gonna try that next time, see what happens. Well, the shield's back up, so now what? Let's try it again. How clever. This again. Have it your way. Careful. They did some, some stupid rust. 
All right, well, we did it again. Did that, did that help us at all? Like, should we not have done that? Did we just waste a bunch of turns? Because we're going to die now. Are they even trying? Okay, come on. Man, I am not getting this block down at all, I don't think. Maybe it does actually have to be tied properly. I'm just gonna go off the assumption that I need to keep doing this. This again, careful. Getting some new voice lines, so I'm assuming something's different happening. Oh look! Why? But I want to. Enough. The Empress will want to hear of this. Go. Fine. Oh, we actually got EXP this time. Woo! Two XP. Anton, now do you see? Look what you've done. What I've done? You think I brought these monsters to Nareem? I know this was your way of getting the farm. You wanted this land for your industrialization project. This was all you. Okay, that's some really high conspiracy there, man. Everything I do is for the future of Nareem. For your daughter's future. I would never put anyone at risk. Mayor Anton, if I may divert our focus, this was clearly set up by an unknown party. And on that topic, tell me, Crystal, where did you get that strange sword? Miss Lana, this was a gift from Mr. Wilhelm and Matthias. Oh? And who are these strangers you seem to know so well? What do they want with Nareem? Is it possible? Did they set this up? And are you part of their scheme? Holy crap, lady. Shielded fellow. We'll lock them up until we can extract a confession. We have to go. Now. To the cathedral. Wilhelm said he'd meet us there. You made it. I knew you'd be able to wield that sword. Well done. And, as promised, your friends are all here. In fact, your mother superior... Crispell, is that you? Thank the lady. Mother Superior, I'm so sorry. Shh, dear. Your interesting new friend here has told us a great deal already. And you believed him? Holy shit. I won't claim to understand all of this, but you're safe. That's all that matters. Safe? Maybe for now. The Empress won't stop at Nareem. The Empress? The Empress of Time formidable foe and far beyond our current capabilities and those idiots in town are too busy pointing fingers to see who saved their worthless skins learn from her if you want i'll go myself if i enough don't be stupid boy you'll need all the help you can get which means i suppose that i'll be going as well going i can't leave the orphanage my family no harm will come to your sisters dear not while I live. But Mother Superior, it's not just that. Matthias, tell them! Matthias? Where did he go? He's slippery, that one. Even for a frog. He'll turn up soon. Count on it. The soldiers will be here soon. Quickly, girl. I... fine. I'll go. I'll return, I promise. You better. Those roses still need pruning. Don't think I've forgotten. Now. Get moving. Merciful lady, 
Watch over my cruise bell. Guide her. Shield her. Comfort her. For she has a long road ahead. And when she is finished, O oh, great lady, take her gently in your arms and bear her home. Be safe, dear girl. Okay. No, for a demo, that wasn't so bad. Alright, so, some things. First off, combat, it feels a little wonky. I'm not sure if I got down the blocking mechanic that well. But it feels like with the, the whole double attack mechanic, it feels like you can just spam that. But uh, the blocking does seem to be a much more deliberate um, timing, I guess. Which makes sense, so. Maybe it's just a bit of a timing thing. I did notice as well um during dialogue it just feels like your your confirm button just feels like it lags a little bit i'm not sure if that's just part of the game or if it's like uh you know to to prevent spamming ahead too quickly or if it's uh just not refined enough but that's something i definitely noticed when going through a lot of those dialogue options and uh we didn't really get to see the repercussions of the major decision we made between choosing between the apothecary or the miller but i do like that that's an interesting thing i hope we see a lot more of those um decisions to make uh in the full game that will actually affect um how the world progresses and uh what benefits we may get from choosing once one thing or the other uh but i'm really looking forward to that the concept between using the past and the future is still a little vague like i'm not sure exactly how beneficial those are um, it is nice that you can use it both in combat as well as for like just basic um, world exploration and completing quests and stuff like that. So lots of potential there. I hope that it gets realized in the full game, which uh, should come out sometime in November. I forget the exact date, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, there is this little Colosseum thing. I'm not going to try that right now because I don't have enough time. But uh, as for the, sword, the story demo, uh, it looks like it was about uh, 45, 50 minutes long. So... Uh, Really cool. I really enjoyed that. Uh, this game looks gorgeous, by the way. Um, but uh, yeah, some of the mechanics, uh, I, I think I need a little bit more time to really formulate uh, more uh, concrete thoughts on. But uh, lots of potential here. Lots of potential. And I'm looking forward to playing the full game. I'll definitely pick it up. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to try it out uh, for yourselves, like I said, it's on Steam. And uh, there's also this whole Coliseum thing, which I'm assuming is... Uh, all about combat, so maybe all, all that stuff I was talking about combat, uh, you'll get a bit of a, more of a taste for it here, so uh, maybe I'll check that out later, or maybe I'll just wait until the full game. We'll see what ends up happening, but uh, until then, I'll see you guys later. Sayonara. Bye-bye.